I recently had the honor of playing with G2 Atomic, and if you follow Rocket League Esports, I'm pretty sure you've heard of him. Or maybe you don't even follow the RLCS, but there's still a good chance you've heard this name. He's, in my opinion, the dark horse of the trio on G2, always filling the gaps for Beast Mode and Daniel. He has to be one of the easiest players for me to play with, and it shows in the gameplay today. Also, I don't want to hear any unk comments anymore. Could an unk reach top 100 in this competitive environment? Nuh-uh, I don't think so. Anyway, let's get right into the games. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, we're coming fresh off a win against these guys. I thought I'd record some games. Uh, they're they're very, very good together, actually. This is Skippy. I think his name is Skip right now. We're going to try and focus up on, on this game here. It's a lot harder to play this game at this high level with, with uh, talking. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Looks like a talk might be able to disrupt him here. Put it to the corner. Hopefully get the boost. He's got to focus on the boost, not the ball here. Should be a Tomic to follow. While he's doing that, I'm going to grab the mid boost. Hopefully get a dunk. And there's a the placement. A really good flip reset from Atomic. I'm just going to position on the left side. That way I can cover any clears that come. Because if the clears go to the right, that means that one of the uh, opponents are going to have it anyway. So I don't really need to cover that. Because he's there off that kickoff. Let's even get a quick shot. I'll pop it back and see what happens with Skippy's clear. Looks like Atomic's going to catch it. Good wait in mid here. Okay, I'll go to the wall here. Around one, and there we go. Nice shot. So I just got the flipper set, flip set around one, and I knew that the other guy was defending on the floor. I, I feel like someone should have defended mid, uh, but they I guess they weren't pretty low boost there. I'm trying to get mid. If Toasty pops this early, I can get the ball here. Give me a clear. I can turn on this immediately. I'm bumped, though. I missed my flip, uh, reset or uh, wave dash. Oh, I missed it. Okay, we're good. I'm just gonna go for the the quick uh, quick double touch. And while that's happening, I'm gonna grab the uh, the back corner. I felt like if I went for the right mid, it would have been stolen from me. Maybe. Yeah, I didn't know if he was gonna beat me there behind me. I just went for the corner because I knew that Atomic had a free clear forward. But maybe I could have secured the mid boost as well. Didn't really matter in the end. All right, let's see what happens here. Nice flip reset again. Oh my God, the double flip reset. Got the boost, let's fake this. Pop it off the backboard. Watching the pass across. Tom wants to stay with this. Has all the pressure. Skippy might go fast here. If he doesn't, I can play off this flip. He's actually gonna fake it. Which means I can just bump him. Oh, it's fine, he's gonna fake it. Nice, is one. Might not be fast enough. I was trying to fall off the ceiling. My boost is stolen. Bump Toasty forward. Skippy has a touch. I'll let Toasty touch this. What I'm trying to do is pop this behind Skippy in, or Toasty in the corner and then follow the double. Try to fake him. Good try. I'm going to be low boost here, though. Save. Try and follow this. I do get the clear, but it's going to be them on the right side. I'll wait behind Atomic to see what he does. I have a free catch here or a free touch. I shouldn't have made that that pop so early. Good 50, though. So he's going to grab the back corner. I can grab a cold pad. Maybe demo him. Actually, this could be good. But actually, since Skippy has possession, it works out for them instead. I'm going to try and get underneath his wave dash. We can't move back. Decent 50 to the corner. I'm going to go back left and see what they do with the clear. All right. I'm going to try and challenge for Atomic here. Skippy hit the ball a little bit too hard forward. So I knew I could go for the challenge early. I'm trying to pop this close to Atomic. Looks like he didn't, wasn't quite ready for it, though. So I probably should have just stayed with the double instead. You have to wait for me to make the, uh, the challenge and then pop it over me. I'll let them stay with this on the left side. They expect the clear to the right to me, so they're probably positioning for that. But instead, I'm just going to like wait for the, the bait off that touch. Pops it up. Atomic's up early to fake. I got to watch out for the demo. There we go. It's a little bit dangerous because we're all low boost. I'm trying to play 50 here. Oh, I didn't get it. So unfortunately, Atomic's going to be in a 1v1 for a second. 
Good save. Put this around Skippy. He's trying to take the boost. I'll let Atomic stay close in the 50. Got to watch out for the bombs. I'm just going to go early and just pop it forward mid. And a really good... Wow. That's a really good shot. <laughs> That's such a good pop. I, I want to be the disruptive there, uh, disruptor there because otherwise I'm going to get chase bumped and then Toasty has a free possession. And I see that Atomic's like got a decent amount of boost, so I just make the pop forward. But that's a really good touch from him to keep the play going. We got Cheese and Scythe this time. I should be around 2200 now, which is almost top 100 again. I've been picking better times to queue, I guess, because the lobbies have been much better. And I find that like better lobbies, higher level lobbies are actually easier for me. That was really weird. Like I, they're difficult. Don't get me wrong. It's just it's like more so that. Oh no, I missed. It's gonna be cheese here. Size panicking. I'll pop it over them. Good try on the finish. Cheese does want me back though. I'm gonna try and move him again. Nice chip. Still at the back corner now. Oh, he wasn't ready for it. I'll just stay with it. It's fine. He's in an early challenge. Cheese plays a very aggressive twos game. He's going to grab my boost as well. It's really smart. Good pop, though. I'm going to let him play the 50 or flick. Pop it over Scythe. Probably Atomic to follow. Good first touch. Pop it over him. He's going to grab the mid. I think Atomic's going to probably stay close with 50, yeah. Okay. Let's see what Scythe does here. He keeps decent control. He does get the ball away here. All right, let's see what he does here. I'm going to pop this forward. He says control. Good challenge from Atomic. He's still holding onto his boost in mid. Good flick. Good demo as well. Nice space here. Demo on the backboard. Should be the boost grab from Atomic. Now he's going to stall back corner here. He's probably going to put it around the, the wall. Yeah. I'm waiting for him to follow this up. Silver one. Scythe's going to try and control this, which does a decent job, but it bounces a little awkwardly for him, so he can't get the push that he wanted. And now I have possession. Good 50. I'm going to try and bump Scythe here. Oh, I think Atomic thought I was going to go for it again. That's my bad. Good 50 to the side. I'm going to flick this to the left side. Probably going to be Atomic to follow. And now Cheese is in a tough spot. Good try. I'm going to stall for for, uh, for Atomic here by popping this back. Wait for his touch. It's all right. Cheese my insta challenge. It's totally fine. I'm very low, though. And I think Atomic knows that. So I'm just going to go for the flick instead. He knows that I'm not going to make that pass attempt. Because if it gets cut off, there's no way I can recover in time. I'll pop this behind him to the right. It shouldn't it shouldn't be too dangerous. Control for Atomic on the wall. Nice touch. And if Scythe clears this across, it's a little dangerous. Cheese knows that, so he's going to pop it immediately. And now I'm playing the flip reset. He probably has another one. That's not the best clear for me. Yeah, that's, that's my bad. I have to watch out for the bump there, too. I think, if honestly, if I let that go by, it wouldn't have been a problem. So maybe I could have just let Cheese... Get the double flip reset and pop it behind me. Because I think at that point, Atomic is there. I didn't get the boost. Atomic gets the corner, though. I'll let him go behind. I got to jump early just in case. Nice clear. Looks like he has it. Good save. Scythe still has boost here. Awkward behind Cheese. Not the best touch from him. Good reset. Yeah, honestly, right now, Cheese is probably one of the best twos players in NA. Just because of the the pressure he has. He's, he's very, very consistent. He will not give you any space. Wow. That was a good play from Scythe. Good control. It does pop up a little awkwardly, but maybe you can pass this to me. Good fake. Another pop. I get the boost from, from Cheese. Now it should be a 1v1 play. 
Good clear. It's a pop over him. This is gonna be awkward. You can maybe go for a bump here. Good dunk. And good placement. I knew I had the space to go top left there because Atomic's waiting for the pass, but they don't really have a position to cut any of this. So if I place this well, Sight's on the right side, and the top left is going to be perfect for us. We have so much pressure. We have 10, 10 saves for them. I got the boost here. What I'm trying to do is play high on his clear, and even if he hits that forward, uh, Atomic gets the ball for free in mid. And that's like the most important thing is that just making sure that they can't really do anything off the return. He's going to probably follow us anyway. I'm just going to let him do that. And then it goes right to Atomic on the wall. And even if he, even if he pinches, it's not that dangerous. I'm going to go hard off the wall. Wow. It did not work out the way I wanted it to, but it should be all right. Get the boost. Almost works out better that um, she's messed up his flick. Actually, I don't know if that was a good idea from Scythe. Oh man, that flick would have been top right. Dang it! I didn't. I didn't go fast enough. I had it, but I just like messed up my my timing. Good boost grab from Atomic in the mid. Nice demo. Good save from Scythe. We have all the pressure off kickoff though, and you see how much boost Atomic has off the off the kickoff as well. <sighs> Woo! Okay, Scythe hits it forward. I'm gonna try and demo cheese if he turns on this. Try to play late on the 50s, but it pops up. Good. Lots of pressure. Might be a finish. That should be the finish. Nice. Good job. Really good pressure over there at the end. Like that whole overtime for the 40 seconds, we basically had pressure the entire time. And I think that happened because of the kickoff, uh, the way we controlled the boost. But either way, really solid game so far. I love playing with Atomic. It's so easy. And I really think he's probably the most underrated on the team of three. Like... Obviously, Daniel and Beast Mode are insane, but I I think that he doesn't get the credit he deserves. Like, low-key MVP a lot of the times. Just He's sort of that dark horse on the team. And that's that's not saying much because even still, he's one of the best players in the game. Oh, why do you put me in rookie match? Why does he always do this? I'm not a rookie. I don't need this training. Stop stop putting me in rookie. I can't believe they haven't fixed that yet. Like, when I go to training, like it just auto goes to aerial and then I go into rookie. I don't know what happens with that. I don't know why it does that. All right, game number three got App and Xander. Let's see how it goes. I don't know who App is. It might be App Jack, actually. Uh, I can't tell. Should be fine. Should be able to take this back. He's going to take it back to control and give me time to get boost. And App's trying to go for the, the bump. I don't think it's App Jack. He wouldn't have done that pop mid like that. I'll let him pop this to Atomic on the wall. I don't think like he really wants to go here. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I don't think Abjack would have went for that either. <laughs> okay, so this is definitely not Abjack. But to know who it is is the question. I don't, I don't think I know who it is. Well, he's not bad though. He's just very aggressive. He turned a couple times in the corner when I expected it. So I just went for the 50. Two back corner. He does get demoed though, so I'm gonna grab grab this and then hopefully he doesn't slam it across right away. Pops it across. Made him force over the net. He's probably gonna follow this. I gotta wait. Pops it backwards. That should just be a finish. Super awkward play from Xander off the ceiling. So App got a little bit confused and tried to follow it, but also just went a little too fast towards the the ball. See what happens here. Xander has a touch. Apps behind him. He'll be a little careful. Good touch. I know Atomic can see that, though. He, he hears him. All right. Go for a solo play here. Close. I'll let uh, Atomic get in here. A lot of times, like, what, what 2v2s become is just, like, two 1v1s happening at the same time. Be fine. Oh, I didn't see that app was away from the ball. I could have cut that near me. Good save. Wow, that actually almost works for him. Good chip, though. This mid boost should spawn because I got it earlier. 
Great shot to the back corner. Nice trying to save too. Yeah, I let go of the ball a little too early. I just knew I could go for a direct shot. I saw that Xander kind of went for the, the flip and wow, that was a quick game. I saw that he went for the flip, so I knew he might be out of the net trying to get pads. Uh, the, the shot there is still still good, though, because it forces him into a, an awkward save either way. All right, hopefully I actually get a full game this time. We got Peep and Op Bomb. They are queued together. So let's see how it goes. Good beat and good finish. Really good really good cheat from Atomic. Atomic knows not to cheat too close on certain ones. I see that he's actually like, a little more patient. He sits pretty far back, but with some good pace. And a lot of players try to cheat up way too close. And they can't anticipate anything happening. Like, he might lose the boost here, but he can still stay with pace to stay relevant. I'm going to try to make him pop this to the corner. And once he does that, Atomic should be able to clear this to the side. I'm expecting a touch forward, maybe. Oh, maybe he can't. Yeah, he's going to get bumped. Leave the boost for Atomic. I'll try and avoid bump. Good save. That's a cross. I think Atomic needs boost. He's going to chase into the corner. Though. I'm going to let him. Mid's there. He'll probably cut for me, maybe? I can go for it. Nice save. I'll stay with this on the wall. Pop this forward. Up bomb's going to go back. That lets me maybe get the boost or get a demo on him. He does avoid it. But now mid is open. First touch was a little heavy, so it's going to be uh, orange team to take it. Now we're waiting for a touch from Atomic here, maybe. Just pop it up. He's going to stay with this as well. They don't know how much boost he has. But he's trying, they're trying to stay patient. There we go. Decent 50 to hopefully get a 50. It's in. Yeah, I almost touched it. And I realized there's no one to pass to anyway. And if I make that touch, it's going to go right back to op bomb. Or peep. I think it might have been peep. Good. I'll fake this. That's all right. Should we boost back here or just the ball? Nice flick. Alpha has control. Nice challenge. Nice 50. People have it. He's actually backed off. I'm going to fake this and then take the corner boost first. Pop it up. That's a really good challenge. Not strong enough to go in the goal, but I tried to chip it around both. Because if I got that, it would have been a free touch mid to shoot. I'm going to try and play the 50. Go again here. Close. Tommy's close, but I think he might get beat here. That's going to be over me. Should be Atomic, though. What a double. I just did that to myself. <laughs> I saw him behind me, or I knew he was there, but I, for some reason I just let him let him go for the... Hit that a little too hard. There should be a touch from Atomic into a fall. I'm just trying to boom this forward. And that puts Peep off the back corner boost. I can grab this. And Peep might throw it away. Yeah, actually, Tom didn't expect that because it's quite a bad throw away. I'll leave that mid boost for him. I might go to Peep instead. I watch out for this bump or bounce. Tom has it, but it actually goes back to Peep with this touch. Try and fake him there. It didn't really work. Should be all right. Maybe Atomic to me. I'm a little scared of that. I'm, gonna let, I'm just going to wait for him. He was so, so low boost that I don't think he could really make a proper pass to me. Probably has a double here. Good cut. So I'm just playing. Playing uh, 50s in a, in a spot where it goes back to our teammate. I probably didn't need to go all the way back here because I actually let go of uh, pressure a little bit. Oh, I missed. But it should be all right. Atomic does go. Wow. I can't go for this. Go back corner here first. Let's go possession. This should be fine. Yeah, 50. Atomic should beat. Oh, he has to get dusted. Oh, no. It's a little scary, but hopefully I can get back. Might have a double. Close. Pops it up. Atomic has it. I'm trying to pick up pads while he stays with that. A little scary. I'm going to leave it, though. Once again, keeping it safe. They can't really get any offensive ch uh, chances when we're keeping the ball in a spot that's, like, unshootable. 
Decent 50. Sells control in the corner. I'm just going to wait behind. Looks like he wants to go for a psycho. I'm just going to stay in that just in case. He has it still. Pop it across. He actually goes. That's going to roll up nicely for Atomic to shoot it forward. Taking all the mid pads and then take the back corner. Now that guy has no boost on his way back. I should not have went for this. That was really bad. Big mistake by me. Up on might beat. I just need to get a 50. Uh, I might still bounce in mid though. Yeah, that's bad. What I could have done there is probably went backboard instead. Because this guy rushing this, he's going to hit it pretty hard. He's trying to beat someone he thinks is going. And if I don't go, he's just going to rush it and then throw it to me anyway. So that was a bad choice for me. We have 10 seconds left though. Nice save. We should be all right here. I'm just going to leave this back here actually. It's still up. But it's so fast forward, he has to pop it up. Might shoot this. And there we go. Solid game so far. I mean, the games have been kind of short, some of them, but uh, we're, we're doing well. Atomic is so easy to play with. I only touched the ball th t uh, 43 times. I would say that was probably my weakest game so far. But either way, feeling, feeling pretty good. A win is a win. I right, got Op Bomb and Peep again. They played pretty well last game, so hopefully we can keep the lead early. Let's try to get an early one here. Let's cheat up softly. Get the boost. It's all good. Pop it up. That's bad for me, but it should be a half flip for for Atomic and free space on the the right the left side. Ooh. It's gonna be op bomb. He's backwards. See, like that never really works out for you if you just boom it off the wall like that. Let's see if Atomic can get the mid boost from him. Nice bump. I'll pop this up and then maybe try to follow it. There we go. I, that was super awkward. I try to keep the ball close with my like 360 twist. That way I can keep the ball. I popped that up super high so we couldn't turn. Let's keep the ball in an awkward spot. Might do a fake here. Okay, it does go back corner. I can get a couple boost pads and then chase it. I can't really do much with this. He's going to get beat here. Totally fine. Atomic has control. Good. Boost is going to spawn in a second. Oh, good save. Get the boost. Nice. Let's go. I'm going to go right side here. It's going to be a free possession for Peep. I'm actually going to go early here. That works out. Yeah, I should have went earlier. I knew he was going to pop that top, top left the second that he popped it over Atomic. I needed a little more time to get behind Atomic, though. I'm gonna focus on boosts. Over two. Nice pop forward, too. Atomic's in, uh, op bombs in a weird spot. It's a good bump. Good pop. I'm gonna stay with this. It could be bad. I'm not gonna give him any space to stay with it, though. Try and void bumps. It's over op bombs head. Good save. I'm missing this. That was pretty bad for me. If that was last man there. I should have stayed patient. He's going to beat me in the corner here. Like I said, these guys are very aggressive. So I, we just need to like stay patient on their, their challenges in the corner. And we should be good. Because like I said, like they're just going to keep doing this kind of stuff. Good. I, try, I didn't try to bump a... Uh, Atomic there, but it's all good. Just let him touch it. I think Atomic thought I might, might be able to get there. It's a cross. Should be all right, though. They're keeping pressure really well here, but nothing too threatening. Pop it up nice and high. Now with op in under pressure. Should bounce nicely for me in mid. Hopefully I can get there. Nice, good finish. It's a great pass. Really good, really good beat by Atomic in the corner. I didn't think he was actually gonna get a full clean beat, so I could have went right earlier, because I knew that if he got the beat, it was like in a good spot. Now Atomic's once again gonna focus on the boost, because the ball is not that important in that situation. Super early challenges. It's it's kind of annoying because it doesn't really do much for them, 
But it's just like disruptive. Even that safe. Tomic's low boost. It's good. Nice to finish too. Op on was way too close. I saw the clear coming out. I think they were trying to cover wherever Atomic put the clear, but he put it in such an awkward spot and delayed his flick. That's going to bounce into a good spot. And there's the forfeit. Honestly, this is like going incredibly well. We're, we're due for a loss very, very soon. But hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'm going to keep playing with him. Uh, and uh, yeah, honestly, insane player. Obviously, everyone knows that. But to play with him is is a treat because he just, he just has such good game sense. He knows what he's doing at all times. And I can feel like I can trust him at any moment in the game.